Okay, consume conditions is by far your best heal. Don't even think about it. Get this. Uh, you feast on your conditions, getting health for each condition consumed. So the more conditions you have on you, the bigger the heal will be. This is great for removing conditions as well. But it, it is actually positive when you have a lot of conditions because you can just remove and heal yourself more. On utility, I have a few options. Blood is power is one of our skills that I always use. Okay, it bleeds yourself to gain might and bleed on your target. You get 10 stars to might for 14 and a half seconds, a little bit more because you have increased boom duration than normal, so that's why it's 14 and a half. Uh, your bleeding lasts for 13 seconds. Their bleeding lasts for 39 seconds because of all the bleed durations and stuff. So you can really see the difference between stacking condition duration. It goes from 12, 13 seconds to 39 seconds, which is a lot. Uh, it's almost four times the damage. So that's great. So this is one of your main skills, and I'll explain how to use it a little bit later. Alright, for your second skill, you have a few options. Epidemic is great. It's only in a 15 second cooldown. It gives you stacks of vulnerability, which is bad. It gives you 3% more incoming damage, but you can easily remove that. And the trade-off is you can spread all your conditions on a target to all nearby foes. The radius is this. It's not as big as I'd hope, but it's big enough to get most of your targets most of the time and not all your conditions actually are AOE so this helps out a lot another choice which I use a lot is Signet of Spite it's great for those boss fights where you just want to demolish people you just go Signet of Spite and they have a ton of conditions already on them this is great if you're gonna go PvP because this build is very good for PvP. You'd be surprised. You can stick a lot of crazy conditions on people and just disappear. Run away. So as long as you're aware of your surroundings, this build is really good for PvP. Another tr condition that I like to, uh, another skill that I like to run with is uh, Plague Signet. This is really good for more survivability and it works great in dungeons when there's a lot of conditions going to your allies it transfers the conditions from your nearby allies to yourself that's its passive and its active is it removes the conditions so this will give you an extra condition removal in which you already have two very reliable ones so this would be a third one the last one I like using is spectral walk uh, spectral walk uh, gives me swiftness for 36 seconds which is a long time I mean it's on a 60 second cooldown so that's understandable and it leaves like a shadow behind if you click it again you'll instantly be teleported back to your shadow this is great for kiting mobs because you could kite them around and then return back to your spot the answer is and it increases your mobility which is important for my third slot skill I use Signet of Locust One's knowledge uh, which is experience. running 25% faster and as a extra heal I use it once in a while but most of the time I just like it for the passive moving 25% faster just makes you instantly faster than most of the mobs walking around alright let's talk about equipment and armor all of my equipment is power, precision, and condition damage, which I believe is Ravager, or Ravaging, I believe, okay, You're and seeking knowledge? the runes that I use are three runes of the crate, and three runes of the afflicted. The tooltip is a little bit weird and messed up. Uh, the way it works is I get 15% bleeding duration for the runes of the afflicted and 15% bleeding duration is for the rune of the crate and I get a ton of condition damage in between so that's why I split my runes up to get 30% um, bleeding duration 
Alright, for my jewelry, I use again all rampaging, or this would be, yeah, rampager. And then for my earrings, I have some carry on. Because we're looking to be around 50% crit the chance, is out there. and the rest I want to put into survivability. So I have a little bit of survivability with carry on and Knowledge more condition damage than I would otherwise. Okay, let's talk about weapons. Staff with a Superior Sigil of Agony. That gives me another 10% bleed duration. Really, really good. Um, let's talk about how to use the skills. All the skills on the staff, except for the main skill, are marks. Marks are AOEs that you stick on the floor and they stay there for a while. Very, very versatile way of using it. You can use it before mobs arrive and just pepper the floor with your marks and then when they hop in they'll get a ton of them. Okay. I usually start off with the staff when I'm gonna aggro an enemy and I just start by laying down all my marks on them and then switching to scepter dagger which is your bread and butter is what you're gonna be going for. My scepter dagger is also rampager. Okay. The scepter has sigil of earth and the dagger has sigil of corruption which uh, gives you 10 condition damage for each time you kill a foe. So right now I have 25 stacks of corruption which is a sizable difference. It does a lot more condition damage. Okay let's talk about the skills in scepter dagger. Scepter gives you, if you auto attack constantly it gives you tons of stacks of bleed and it gives you um, unlimited poison like your poison will never run out on a foe um, grasping death is your main kiting ability it's an AOE on the ground that bleeds and cripples and it's rather large AOE so it's hard to miss feats of corruption is used on cooldown for a ton of extra damage because you are going to have a lot of conditions on your target so it's just extra DPS that you add on to it Deathly Swarm is used with uh, Blood is Power basically the way it works is you use Blood is Power you get two stacks of self bleeding and you give your target two stacks of bleeding so you use Deathly Swarm and it transfers your um, conditions to multiple targets up to three targets so you could have a stack of 25 bleeds a stack of 25 vulnerabilities and blindness and you could transfer all three if you have three targets in front of you if you only have one target in front of you it will only um, transfer one condition so it'll transfer all the stacks of bleeding but it'll only transfer bleeding it won't transfer anything else it also blinds uh, three mobs, so it's great for survivability. This is one of your main condition removing skills, along with consume conditions and if you want a uh, plague signet. Okay, and the last skill is enfeebling blood. It gives bleeding and weakness. This is basically used on cooldown. It has a little bit longer cooldown than grasping dead but it's basically the same ideal it helps you survive by giving them conditions 